So, we'll get, we'll get started. I'll bring the reference up for myself and my, uh, and just my side as well, so I can see. Um, okay. Is the screen looking okay for you guys? It's still showing what it, the camera and everything? Yep, cool. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you ever feel like you wanna come around and have a look, just that's all, that's all good, just pop around. Um, so, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> so, when, when you're drawing, um, always think of the drawing as like your plan, okay? It's kind of like a blueprint. So you don't wanna just go in there and just start putting paint in there because you're not going to know where the buildings are. You're not going to know where the boats are. Um, you're not going to know where the sky finishes and the water starts. So I think it's really important when, you, when you've got a painting like this, in the, any painting, it's always good to, to start out with a drawing. I don't know many artists that don't, uh, that just paint straight. So in this particular scene, you know, one thing you want to look at is, um, if you've got the reference photo up, is where the sky... Uh, where the sky meets the ground, okay? So, um, maybe, I don't think I can bring it up on the other screen, but it's about, I wouldn't say it's about, I wouldn't say it's halfway, but a little bit less than halfway. Can you tell? So, the horizon line is roughly, yeah, just, just below the halfway point. So, there's, there's more, there's basically, there's more sky than there is water. Okay, so even if you put a line directly through the middle, that's okay as well. Um, but I, I, I'd suggest just sort of estimate, I reckon it's about just a little bit below, okay? And I'm going very light and I'm also holding the pencil um, at the end, okay? So we're just putting in, this is the most simplest part, uh, but you have to get this correct because this is going to guide um, where all the other objects are. And when I, when I draw buildings, when I draw anything, you're always trying to look at the shapes that um, make up that building. Rather than trying to, because when you look at it, you think, geez, look, there's so many windows. Oh my God, there's, there's a, this tower, there's this, you know. Um, but if you, if you try to look at it in terms of a shape, okay. So for example, um, what I'm going to do in the middle of this page, I'm just going to mark here, just a line. It's a little line here on the horizon line, right in the center, dividing that page in half. Because I'm, I'm looking at that middle section, and that kind of lines up with that really large uh, dome, that really large kind of top of that, that dome there, okay? So we can kind of put it in, okay? And it's, it's like a circular shape. Okay, like a circular kind of shape, like that. All right. So the middle of that middle of the scene, there, we've got a bit of this circular shape. Okay. Um, let's look around to the left hand side. You know, we can look at this big. See all this stuff on the left. Um, you can probably just simplify it down into. Uh, Let's have a look, like a rectangle, okay? So I can kind of just draw a rectangular shape here, connecting it up here, coming down. It's kind of like a rectangular-like shape, okay? So we've got a rectangle, got a kind of a semicircular shape there, all right? And the reason why I started off getting you guys to draw the dome as well is because it's, if you, you can sort of base everything else, if you get that dome in roughly in the right position, then everything else that you draw in will be um, in the scene, okay? Whereas if you, for example, if you start drawing this dome like over here, there's not gonna be enough space to get the buildings and stuff on that right side. So I, I try to find patterns in a reference photo like that and try to, to draw the most simple, simplest stuff first, okay? Um, so, I'm gonna go in. Um, 
this. Okay, again, like this starts out as a big rectangle and then that rectangle has other shapes inside it. Okay, little shapes inside. This kind of has like a, you know, for example, here there's like another dome next to this larger one. Maybe starts like here, um, top of it. If you got, yeah, uh, got an eraser. If you guys need one as well. <laughs> And notice I'm, I'm kind of like course correcting at times. I'll be drawing that dome and I'll be like, okay, actually I, it needs to be a little bit higher. So I'll shift it up a little bit, okay? So this little smaller one next to it, again, I'm looking at where the top, the top of that little one finishes. Finishes almost not halfway, maybe about halfway through the, the bigger one, okay? The top of it anyway. So I'm just, again, roughly trying to make sure that it's not too big, okay? It's just a bit smaller. Okay. Um, now you said it's okay like, to make it your own kind of thing, like the dog to make it your own up to your photo. Are you allowed to just say if you make a mistake, I'm okay with that? Of course. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so there isn't that page now. No. It, like what, what I'm, what I'm um, showing you is basically uh, the steps in, in how to kind of get a, uh, just, just a loose representation of what you see. Okay, but you don't have to. I mean, you don't even have to include some of the buildings at the back if you want, if you don't want to. Okay, really, just it's really just up to you. Because for me, um, I, I really like buildings. I don't know why, but I just really like <laughs> the, the buildings. And whenever I have to draw people and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to doing the buildings. So I tend to focus on the drawing there. So you see that come out in my artwork. Whereas um, with other people, they may focus more on like colors. They might prefer colors or they might prefer um, brush strokes, like large expressive kind of brush strokes. Some people might ref like might exaggerate the figures and make the figures and the people look really detailed. So it's, it's really, you know, we have nine of us here um, and we're basically painting this thing. But by the end of it, everyone's going to look different. So you kind of... You, you kind of got to put a bit of your personality into it. And although I'm showing you more of a basic, you know, basic steps, basic processes on how to draw it and paint it, you know, put a bit of your own personality into it as well. You know, if you want to put in an, an extra boat or something, go ahead. I think the main thing with these, this, with this uh, cathedral is just getting in these like domes in the back. Uh, if you can get them in kind of these two especially, the rest will kind of look all right. Um, and, and also don't worry too much of the details inside the buildings as well because we're going to do more of like a silhouette of the buildings. So coloring it almost all in the same color. Okay. So try to find like inside 
just little patterns. Like this is in here, I see a little triangle. It's kind of like there, like a triangle, and then like a, a bit coming down like that. There. You know, another like kind of long rectangle, a bit like that. And then another kind of triangle here on its side, like this. And then that's coming down like this. Okay. So. If you draw the shapes, um, it ends up looking like the actual building. Focusing on the shapes. You know, there's these little like arches, like little windows or whatever up the top as well. So I'm just going to play around and get in a bit of that there. Okay. And notice how much detail I've actually emitted from this. Yeah, I've taken out a lot of the detail and just try to get in more like the silhouette of the buildings. Okay, and these domes especially, just really trying to emphasize this larger one. Um, I think that's important. You notice like all these, you know, up, up away from the, the central building, you get these other buildings to the right hand side and I can just simplify them down. I mean, I'm just drawing this. This is just a box. Look at that. It's just a box. Kind of like a, like a block. And the block has these kind of, I don't know, triangular like shapes or whatever on top like that. Yeah. Something like that. Little rooftops, okay. Don't worry too much um, if you haven't got all the little details in because when you start painting, you can actually put in some of those details later, okay. I, I know some artists that just don't, they, they barely, they, they do a very quick sketch. Some people uh, do a very long thought out kind of sketch. See this, this one is a bit too big, this building here. So I'll just reduce it down a bit. And how I, I can tell it's too big before because I was comparing it to um, this little tower here. It's finishes about here. So you're using other things that you've drawn in to guide uh, the relative position of other things, which is guided by the horizon line. <laughs> so you start from big and you work your way down, the big shapes in, and then you add the little details in after. Okay, you might put in some windows or something like that just to remind yourself later. Mm, kind of things here, what's some kind of tower here? As well, like a clock tower, maybe. What's this? Okay. How's everyone doing? Going okay? Um, don't be afraid to, to, to press a bit darker with the pencil as well. You'll find that once you start painting a lot of, a lot of the pencil work doesn't uh, show through that much unless you really 
funny because there's a lot of almost like prerequisite knowledge <laughs> with drawing as well, you know? <laughs> but um, look, there's only one way to learn. And um, if I just printed it out for you, then it wouldn't be, uh, well, I mean, that's fine as well. You, you, can print, you can print and trace. But I think this is kind of good, helps you learn how to um, translate something over. And don't, look, again, don't worry if you haven't got it looking exactly like what you see here. Um, think about the overall story you want to tell. Just want to tell a nice little story of uh, um, maybe starting to get to like a sunset situation in Venice. Some buildings in the background, a bit of water. Okay. Um, one thing to keep in mind as well is if you look at the reference picture, um, you can tell that the light is hitting the right hand, right hand side of the buildings. So you can see a little bit of warmth, a little bit of yellowy um, warm color on the right hand side of some of those buildings. So what you want to do is just on some of these buildings, you want to add on that right hand, you know, for example, here. That's a little box I've, paint, I've drawn. Like that. Just getting on a few of these sections there that will leave um, leave me an area to put in with some warmer colors okay Lots of little windows on these uh, buildings, but you don't need, remember, you don't need to draw them all in. You usually leave it till later. But I put in a few here and there just to remind myself to make sure I add them afterwards. Okay, but. Oh. You okay? You know, if I don't make a mistake with my arm, I make a mistake with my back and body. <laughs> it's a dangerous stuff, watercolor painting. <laughs> um, and you know, like a Little secret, I, I really don't like drawing. <laughs> I don't I don't I'm a, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> but it's a, it's one of those things that I think is important to learn when you're uh, just you know, if you're looking at your own reference photos or turning them into a painting. Um, it's just a skill that that's really helpful. So okay. What have I done here? Yeah. Mm. I may have to change this around a bit. Mm. I made a mistake, but that's okay. I'll just, just put that building here. You notice down at the base, uh, the base of these buildings, you've got a lot of these dark areas, uh, kind of like windows or doors, uh, just little openings here. Okay, now once you've got a little 
I don't know, like a, a, a little indication of all the buildings and stuff out in the background. This is when you want to start actually looking at stuff in the foreground. So there's, there's a gondola here. There's like a guy here. His, head, his head's like about here. That's the head, about there. Um, and I always draw the heads of the people first. And he's kind of like in this gondola. His head's too big. You know? See a big head. And remember, um, as you go into the distance, people, objects appear smaller. Yeah, there. And I'm just drawing in, he's kind of just maybe standing like that in the boat, okay? The gondola. And the gondola is like, what does it look like? It kind of looks like a banana. So I can only draw that, like this kind of shape that looks a bit like a banana, like this. Mm -hmm. Up here, here, okay. Okay, there we go. I've got something there. Some indication of like a person in a uh, guy. Maybe too big, the head's too big again. Just reduce that head down a little bit like this. It's about the right size. Um, you've got a few people sitting inside as well. So, you know, again, I always start with the heads. Start drawing these little kind of oval-like shapes like this. There you go. Got a person sitting in there with uh, some of their friends maybe going on a bit of a ride together. These things are a rip-off, by the way. I think they charge like... 100 euros or something to go up and down the, the canals. <laughs> and then start drawing them in and make these people really small. Um, again, you don't have to put this in if you don't want to. I'm just, I'm just doing it because it's in the reference picture and I, and I kind of want, I want to put them in. Okay. Um, so we've got this gondola all the way in the background. There's like, I don't know what this is. It looks like there's like a barge or something here. You know those big boats, those big ferries or something? I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to draw in a, a rectangular shape there. Another rectangular shape here. Okay. Um, often, you can just kind of wing it with all some of these objects in the background. Okay, you've got one boat. And also when you focus um, when you focus detail into certain areas, it draws the, the attention to that particular area. If you make everything detailed, the eyes just moving across the entire painting, it's, it's good, but it also detracts from the story that you want to tell. So um, I purposely, at times, make things, especially in the edges, I fade things out so the edges don't look detailed. And here is probably the focus with these people around maybe a third of the way through the painting. So those are some of you who do photography as well. Um, you know, there's that, this rule of thirds thing. So sometimes I, I will apply that as well, put the areas of uh, interest where the, um, the thirds intersect. I haven't done it exactly here, but yeah. Sometimes having the, the, your subject right in the center too obvious. It's like having a boat right in the middle. Um, then you look, you've got these like big poles, these uh, wooden poles. See how they sort of stick out and you know you can say draw draw some of these in. Okay? And notice as we get to the back, they get smaller. Okay? Okay, so it's very important to make sure you've got some small ones at the back some of the big ones out the front. Um, you know, this is actually, uh, this is a gondola here. It's very hard to see, but there's something here. So I'll just, I'm just going to make it up, okay? Just making one up here. Put something else here in the background, okay? But that's the kind of front of the gondola maybe there. Okay, something like that. Got this large sort of pole, here, um, there's one here as well. One here maybe, 
Uh, okay, you might, up to you, but you can put in another boat up closer if you want. You know, for example, I might draw in another boat here. Or is it another gondola or something? Just the side of it like this. Okay, doesn't even look like one. I'll, I'll make it look like one <laughs> later. Okay. Um, some people like to have subjects down the front as well, like drawing a, like a large, like a boat sort of paddling in or something like that. It's up to you. Um, I probably will keep it simple. This one. Okay. But you should have something that looks, you should have something that looks sort of like this. Okay. Just a rough plan. So now when you go into your painting, there's less guesswork. You've got a bit of understanding of where the buildings are, where the sky is, where the water is. See, not less guesswork.